Hello, my name is Matt Max. Welcome back. Today will be fun because today we will use this IC to add two binary numbers. Yep, you heard me right. We will add two binary numbers. You're going to understand how exactly you can actually add two binary numbers to each other. It's actually really, really, really simple. But first of all, I have to explain you how to actually use an IC. Because if you just do it like this, and we'll show you what this actually is. So right now, what we have is we have one not AND gate. Okay, we have one not AND gate, then we have our LED. And sorry, I'm looking at the camera display while drawing and it's really difficult. And then we have our two switches. You do not need to put uh, resistors in here if you're using an IC. Now this is our this is our circuit right now. And let's look what happens when we actually try it out. All right, so you see, What's the hell happened? It should be on the whole time. And you know, if you do this, suddenly it works. And it's not the cables that are broken. And then it's out again. And if you touch here, suddenly it works again. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Why? What? It's not the cables that are broken. You cannot use an IC like this. You cannot use an IC like this. And the reason is that all inputs of an IC, all inputs of a logic gate, always need an input. Okay? They always need some input, either one or zero. But right now, they get neither. That does not really count as zero. To get true zero, add those two inputs, which is what you want, right, you actually have to put this to ground over what is called a pull-down resistor. Those are pull-down resistors. They go to ground to zero volts, and they are 10k resistors. And with those, you will have true zero at those lines, okay? And only then, only then does logic gate in an IC actually work. You always, always, always need to put either zero or one on all inputs of a logic gate. Otherwise, it won't work. So let's do it. 10K resistor. Works, not end gate. Perfect, right? Okay, so that's the easy stuff out of the way. Uh, by the way, god damn it, I used wire bridges to have constant plus five volt in here. That's plus five volt, and that's ground. Just that it's not cluttered that much. So that's cool. And one other word. With those four not ands, you can build every logic circuit. You can build and, you can build or, you can build not or, you can build any circuit with those four not ands in here. But I'm not going to tell you how, because you don't really need it. But what I will tell you is how to build the one logic circuit that we haven't seen yet, which is X or. And this is a circuit we will actually use to add two numbers to each other. Now, I cannot draw the circuit diagram of XOR, it's too complicated, so I'm going to show it to you on the computer. All right, so that is it. That is an XOR gate. You can see that an XOR gate is made up out of four not end gates. So those are all the four gates we actually have available in our 4011 ship, okay? Those are all the gates we have available in our 4011 ship. So how the hell does this work? First of all, we have two inputs, A and B. Those are our two switches. We have our output, Q, 
that is our LED. And uh, let's actually go ahead and let's see what this thing does. Now keep in mind, it's a not AND gate. A not AND gate is true as long as not both inputs are true. Okay, so as long as at least one input is false, a not AND gate is true. So, let's say we press switch A. That means that this will be true, this will be false, so this thing will be true, so this will be true. But since this is true, this will be true too, so this will be false. But at the same time, since this is true, this will be true, and this is false, so this will be true, so this will be true. Easy, right? Well, let's actually just look at our circuit and let's see how it works. So, this is our circuit. Now, I know that this looks complicated, but it's exactly what you see in the computer screen. So what you see here is exactly this, okay? It's exactly this. It may look complicated, just forget it. You will be able to build this. It's not so complicated. So let's see what it does. If no button is pressed, output is false. If input A is true, output is true. If input B is true, output is true. If input A and B are true, output is false. All right, so let's go ahead and let's actually write this down. XOR gain, that's all it's called. XOR, the symbol for XOR is a federation batch with a second little whatever it is behind it. And here's a truth table. Both inputs false, output is false. I press A, output is true. I press B, output is true. I press both at the same time, output is false. So, as long as both of the inputs are not the same, it is true. How on earth is this going to help us for anything? Why would we need that? That, my dear gentlemen, is an addition. What you see here is a binary addition. Almost. Let me explain. And let's say what we're doing right here is actually A plus B equals output, okay? And we put in binary numbers. If A is zero and B is zero, the output is zero. Makes sense, right? If A is one oops, and B is zero, the answer is 1. If A is 0 and B is 1, the answer is 1. Now, now comes the interesting part. If A is 1 and B is 1, we know, and that's binary, okay? We know that equals 1 plus 1, which is 2. So it would be 1, 0, because that's binary 2 but it's not put out. The reason it's not put out because we only have one output, but this, those are two digits. But you see that we have the zero, which is the last digit. So all we have to do is we have to get this one. And there's a really simple and quite ingenious way to do that. We have an XOR gate, okay? So are both inputs A and B. And now what we do is we simply add an AND gate. And we put A and B. To the AND gate 2. And then we have two outputs. 
output digit one, which is the rightmost digit, and output digit two, which is the left digit. And in case of one plus one, we get zero from the XOR gate, but we get one from the end gate. So if A, let's actually make a truth table for this circuit. All right. If A is zero and B is zero, the end gate is zero. And the XOR gate is zero, right? If A is one and B is zero, the XOR gate is one, the end gate is zero. If A is zero and B is one, the end gate is still zero, the XOR gate is still one. If both are one, the XOR gate is zero and the end gate is one. And you see that this truth table and this is the same. This is binary addition. With only two logic gates, you can build binary addition. Let's do it. So here we go. Now this looks complicated, but it actually is not. This right here is our XOR gate, completely ignore that. Down here, I build an AND gate out of two transistors. We already learned how this works. So here we have two LEDs, the red LEDs, those are input LEDs, okay? So those are our two numbers, number A and number B. And those are our output LEDs, okay? This is the first digit of the output, and this is the second digit of the output. And all I did was that after the end gate with the two transistors, I wired it to the second digit of the binary number. And I wired the output of the XOR gate to the first digit of the binary number. Let's see how it works. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. There we go. That is binary addition. Really simple if you come down to it. Now, now you're saying, I, I, I know what he's saying right now. You're, okay, you know, that's cool, but this is only for like two, one bit. What is if I have longer numbers that I put in? What is if I want to add with bigger numbers than one? Now, the cool thing of this circuit is that you can take it and you can repeat it. over and over and over again to get an addition as long as you want. Let me show you how this looks. All right, so this, what you see here is actually a three bit adder. You see that I have three inputs, three digits for A and for B. Now it looks a little bit more complicated than what we had before. And it's true, it's a little bit more complicated than this, but not by much. And let me actually explain you what you see here. So this is your usual adder, okay? If A1 and B1 are not the same, this is true. And then we get this behavior down here, which is what we want. Now, we have our AND gate and this right here, this is called carry out, okay? This is called carry in. Now what happens here, is that we basically have two additions in a row. We have the addition of those two digits with this XOR gate. And then we have the addition of the result of this addition and the carryover. So basically what we have down here is just two of those, okay? See that it comes in pairs. We have one XOR and N pair, that's an adder, and we have this XOR and N pair here, and then we have a second XOR and N pair. All right? It's an XOR and an end that together makes the addition. So first addition is done here, then the second addition is done here, the third addition, shit. 
The third addition is done here. But then we have an OR gate. Because if either this or this is true, we have to carry over to the next function. And then it's basically it basically just repeats itself. From now on, it just repeats itself. So I could take this and just copy and paste it as often as I want until I have a 32-bit adder. Okay, it's always the same quite easy process. Now, if you do not really understand this, do not worry. Okay, do not worry. What you have to do is you have to sit down quietly and you have to look at it, you have to stare at it for a long time. What you should do is you should download this program, Logic Circuit. And it's not a perfect program, but it's freeware. Uh, the problem is that sometimes connections aren't counted for some reason. But get this program, Logical Circuit, and try to build a full adder yourself. You will understand it once you build it yourself, but you have to build it yourself. We can actually go ahead and we can look at the truth table. And as you can see here, we have binary number one. Then we have the binary number two. And this is the, this is the result. So for example, four plus zero is four. Okay, well, that makes sense. Let's take something interesting, like, like six plus two. Six plus two is eight. That's correct. Uh, six plus six is 12. So we have, what do we have here? It's eight plus four, that's 12. Yeah, that's correct. Um, four plus one is five. Yeah, that's correct. Five plus four is nine. Eight plus one, that's nine. Correct. You see, this is actually working. Okay, this is actually working. This is a 100% working three bit adder. Now, will you have to build stuff like this yourself with, with ICs and stuff? Well, um, not necessarily. What you can see right here is an adder. This, those are adders. Those are four bit adders each. Those are 74 series uh, because the 4000 series, 4000 series is better. Um, let me actually look it up what it's called. So the 4-bit adder of the 4000 series is called 4008. This is 74 series, which is slower and not as good, but my vendor didn't have the 4008, so I had to buy this. Anyway, so this is a 4-bit adder. So it's basically what you see here, like this copied one more time. Right, that is one of those. One of those. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you understand now how computers add multiple numbers. And see you next time.